This is part 13 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a custom filter in Angular. So what's a custom filter? A custom filter is a function that returns a function. To create a custom filter, we use the filter function. Let's understand creating custom filters with an example. Notice on the left we have a table that display employee data. At the moment we have three columns, name, gender and salary. Look at the gender column. We have integer values within the gender column 1, 2 and 3. Now what we want to do is write a custom filter that's going to convert these integer values to their string representations. So 1 should be male, 2 should be female and 3 should be not disclosed. So let's see how to create such a custom filter. So let's flip to Visual Studio now. Within our script.js file, notice we have our controller function. Within the controller function, we are creating an employee array. At the moment, this array contains five employee objects, and each employee object has got name, gender, and salary properties. And then we are attaching this to the dollar $scope object using employees variable, which is going to be the model. And then within our view, that's an HTML page one dot HTML, we're using a table element to display the employee data. Within the T head section, we have three TH elements to display the column headers, name, gender, and salary. And within T body section, we are looping through each employee in employees array and then binding to name, gender, and salary properties. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how the employee data is at the moment. Notice the gender values um, are integers. Now we want to convert them to their string representations, male, female, and not disclosed. So what we want to be able to do is something like this. So on this gender property, what I want to do is apply a filter, gender. And this filter should be able to convert those integer values to their string representations. So let's go ahead and create this gender filter. So I'm going to go to the script.js file. And here we have our module object. And look at this. When I press dot, the IntelliSense shows the filter function, which we use to create a custom filter. The first parameter for this function is going to be the name of the filter. So let's call the filter gender. So what's a filter? A filter is nothing but a function that returns a function. So I'm creating an anonymous function here, which is going to return another function. And for this inner anonymous function, I'm going to pass one parameter. I'm going to call it gender. So basically, this will be the input for our filter. So in our example, the input is going to be the gender integer values. OK, so I'm going to switch on that integer value and then return their corresponding string representations. So switch on the gender and case one. So when it's one, we want to return male. Similarly, when it is two, we want to return female. And when it is three, we want to return not disclosed. So when it is two, I want to return female. And when it is three, let's return not disclosed. All right. So that's all there to it to create a custom filter. So our filter name is gender, and we are applying that using the pipe character like any other built-in Angular filter. So let's save all these changes and reload this page and see what's going to happen. Look at that. Now we get male, female, not disclosed as ex expected. So now if you look at this filter, it's present in our script.js file. Actually, we have our filter here. We have our controller, everything present in the script.js file. In a real world application, you will have your controllers you know, in a separate controllers file, maybe, and filters in a separate filters file. So it's also possible you know, we can have this filter in a separate filters file. So to our project, let's go ahead and add a new item. And we want to add a JavaScript file. And I'm going to call this filters.js and I'm going to move this function which is creating our custom filter to that file filters.js now this filter method is available on the module object so here we have our module object so we want to reference that and filter.js um, file for IntelliSense what I'm going to do is drag and drop this script.js file into our filter.js file. So let's drag and drop this. So that should give us IntelliSense. Look at this. The moment I type app, we get IntelliSense. And when I type dot, we have the filter function. Okay. 
All right. So now within our script.js file, we only have our controller function. The filter function is present in a separate filters.js file. All right. Now for this to work, we will have to reference that filters.js file within our file. So I'm going to drag and drop filters.js script file into the head section right here. All right. Let's save these changes and reload this page, and it should still work the same way as before. So to create a custom filter, we use the filter function. The first parameter for this function is the name of the filter that we want to create. A filter is nothing but a function that returns another function. So we have an anonymous function here, which is returning another anonymous function. And to this inner anonymous function, the first parameter is the input for the filter. So in this case, gender is our filter input. And since that is an integer value, I'm using a case statement to switch on those integer values and return their corresponding string values. And then we use that filter gender just like any other built-in Angular filters using the pipe character. Thank you for listening and have a great day.